Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we'll cover the atomic shop, see what we got today, and uh, take a look at the daily score challenges and see what we got to do in order to make some score. So let's not waste some time and jump right into it. Alright, so let's navigate to the Atomic Shop and see what we got today. I did look, take a look at the patch notes. I thought that we ain't gonna have anything, but we do. And I, why I thought we ain't gonna have anything is because uh, <laughs> they made a typing mistake in their patch notes. They said it's from 28th of July until 4th of August. Uh, what I think they meant is 29th of July. It's thirsty emote. So we got this and this goes with a 60% discount so you can acquire it for 120 atoms instead of 300. Another typo that they made was in the last one which uh, I think you can see 2 stars 50. I think they wanted to make it bold and it should be 2 stars 50, 2 stars so it's bold and the stars disappear. Oh well. Lazy, lazy. But anyway, I had enough of my ranting. I'm not gonna rant anymore about this game because we all have our love and hate relationship feelings for this game. You gotta admit that. Alright, so that's what we have for today. Uh, okay. I have it. I don't even know why. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's see how it looks like. I don't think I ever used that one. No, that's not it. No. Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> that is actually pretty cool. <laughs> so, that's what you get. Alright, now let's take a look at the daily challenges. There we go. Hey, they're not auto complete. Wow. Uh, build floor, wall decor, decorations in a camp or workshop. I do that usually at workshop. Buy a sell item from another player. That you can do by going to another uh, player's camp to the vending machine. Buy three bullets, uh, one bullet each time and you'll get it done. So basically, in short, you gotta complete three transactions and buy whatever you wanna buy. Uh, or trade with the player directly, but buying from the vending machine essentially is the most quickest way. Uh, complete an event. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, gold star, complete any of these five and that will be triggered automatically. Ten, uh, kill a feral ghoul, ten of them. Uh, in the low level area, there are ghouls at the uh, Morgantown. I am sure of that. Where else can you find ghouls? Low-level ghouls. Oh, man. I think your call is Morgantown. I really can't remember any other place. But I'm going to show you that uh, for the new players, for the event run players, you all know how to do these challenges. They're very easy. Uh, so level up, once again, super easy. Nuclear winter, increase overseer rank. I'm not going to do it. Repair armor or weapons three times. Cool. Use photo mode in a group. All right, cool. So if you're a veteran, you already know how to do all these all. So thanks all for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below if you want to know how to do these uh, challenges. Stay put. So let's start with the photo mode. That's pretty much the easiest one. And repair thingy as well. Bam. So that is complete. Uh, then I think I still have some armor for repairing so you gotta go here and just repair your armor so oh my god seriously this lag is unbelievable bam thank you bam Fusa. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> no, no more ranting for today. <laughs> okay. And the ghouls. Let's go to work in town. 
Alright, so when you fast travel to Morgantown, this icon right here, you will end up in this location. So what you gotta do is just run straight and you will start encountering the uh, feral ghouls that usually on the ground. There they go. You can see those bad boys right there chilling, having fun. So that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. Then you can run more that direction I believe over there you will have scorched and not ghouls if my memory is not failing on me uh, but over there you will have a location which also summons a whole bunch of different randomized outfits so you might want to check it out in case if you're a new player and you're looking to find some uh, like different types of outfits for your collections and meanwhile you're doing that uh, you will end up killing these ghouls as, as you can see it will definitely have all 10 of them in case if you come here and there you see there you go I completed the, ch the challenge so as I said let me show you where you can find some uh, outfits I even found here uh, some rare rare outfits sometimes hard helmet there we go that always changes so you have some ammo over here dropping some cams uh, alcohol uh, bam 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 over here you have some red bandana this is always different uh, different outfits so we have a gas mask over here and inside the tent you have like six or seven of them so we have a pair of glasses a green bandana and so on so these are all random and they appear time to time like uh, randomized and caps a stash of caps is always here so it's good to have all right and a stim pack right there. I'll take it. And and nuka cherry. I'll take that too. What else do we have? What else do we have? Okay, how about we uh, do a little bit of decorations? For that, we need a workshop. And then I get a fast travel bug again. Yeah. <laughs> Oosa! Oosa! Alright, so once you've uh, captured the workshop, you can do that with any workshop. There's a lot of different workshops. You'll need to navigate to your building menu. Then the easiest one would be the floor decor since you don't really have to build anything. If you're not planning to build a whole bunch of stuff here uh, for wall decor, I would recommend you doing the floor decor. You can do whatever you have here. You can do whatever you have. I mean, I can just spam this uh, death club pelt rug, rug and it will work. There we go and complete complete uh, what else do we have that I can show you that is complete an event uh, I'm gonna do that one right there it gives a lot of caps uh, basically it's one of my favorite uh, events that's where you kill super mutants super mutants are good for levels as well if you did not know uh, and uh, always look for super mutants if you wanna level up <laughs> well those guys are lower levels so for uh, the guys that are new, uh, that is a perfect location to stop by to get some extra caps and to get some extra kills from the super mutants. They drop a whole bunch of weapons, so you can scrap them. When you scrap weapons, you unlock mods, also they give uh, ammo, and all those work benches and other benches are scattered around the area. So uh, it's a really good spot to visit, even though if you're going to be a low level. Uh, just have in mind that these guys are above level 10 if I'm not mistaken here like 5 10 and and even higher up to 20 That's the, gonna be the main boss uh, So Bam you just shoot these guys as you can see I'm getting even Getting 300 XP man Not bad uh, Well, that's because I have high intelligence and other stuff. I have a separate video discussing the ways of how you can boost your uh, levels up too bad is uh, one hour long, but it's detailed. Uh, I, I discuss pretty much everything. So once you've completed the event, you get your score. So the next thing that we have left is to kill some. Oh, by the way, if you come to this location and you don't have any hacking skills, what you can do is run here. You run, 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 and then you jump into that thing over there, and you're inside. And look for keys next time so you can open the door without any problemos. I really don't remember where the key is. It's neither drop from one of the mutants or something in that area. Or look in the tables and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't I really don't remember where to get that key. So the final thing that's super easy to do is to buy something from another player. So we'll just go to that guy over there and we're pretty much done. 
So once you're at the vending machine, what you gotta do is just complete three transactions. That's one, two, and three. Ta-da! Alright, so the only thing that is left for me is to level up one time and I'm done as well. I'm not gonna do the nuclear winter, I'm staying away from that. Oh, by the way, oh yeah, I completed all the weeklies as well. Well, some of them got out and completed. <laughs> but anyway, Z Clan and everybody else, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, I see them, I read them, and I delete them. So if you want your comments to be read and replied to, please do not swear. You can always leave your negative feedback without swearing the living hell out of my comments. Cockroach. <laughs> but anyway. I've noticed uh, way, way, way less uh, F-bombs on my channel these days, so thank you. <laughs> and if you're new and subscribe, welcome to Z-Clan, I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine, our clan has grown to 5,678 Z-Clan members. If you want to join a cool community on Discord, Discord is a chat system that we use to communicate, share screenshots, uh, talk about different other games, play also other games, not Fallout 76 only, feel free to join. But read the rules. If you get banned, you get perma banned. Ah, yeah. The link is down in the video description. If you don't get what family friendly is, read the rules. <laughs> Alright, well, Z Clan, everybody else, thanks all for uh, watching this video. Y'all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys lock it at, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go. We are Z Clan, we have a gamer soul. By the might of the sword, we put the pen to the test. We are Z Clan, we are the gamers best. Z Clan, Z Clan. Our hearts and our soul, we will forever know. Our community stronghold, this is our song. Into the depths of the heart of the one sword.